Um, I'd like to move on, if I could, to issue number 28 that uh, was related to patient notification of those doctors on probation and whether that is something. That, doctor, why is it that the medical board is reluctant to, uh, to notify patients when their doctors are on probation? Uh, it's a pretty complex issue, Senator. Uh, let me have Ms. Kirschmeyer answer that first. So I guess, you know, as I look at the, you know, the appendix to the uh, uh, background paper today and I look through all of the doctors, um, and, I mean, I just pick a couple of them. Uh, convicted of unlicensed practice of medicine sting operation, we laser led to arrest for unlawfully performing Botox, laser hair removal, other procedures. I mean, this is just one, one that I found, and you don't think that affects the patient-doctor relationship by having that as a background that the patient should be aware of? I think it's pr fairly clear, and I could go through and, and list a number of them, but to claim that the website is the only form of access to this information, um, I mean, as the staff, as the background paper states, there are many examples where, especially related to seniors who are most inclined to be seeking medical attention, they're, in many cases, computer illiterate. They don't have access to computers. They're not using them. And people of, uh, of color, in some instances, are, are in more instances, are not familiar with that. So to expect them to do that uh, makes no sense. Is, is one of the reasons, and I, and, um, uh, concern that I have is when you look at the majority of the board, they are physicians, and uh, I think they're members of the California Medical Association, which has a strong position in opposition to patient notification. Do you feel that that has anything to do with this uh, position of the board? Uh, no, sir. I'm, I'm emphatic on that one. Uh, the board, in the end, does whatever it can take actually to uh, revoke license rather than put some of these people you talk about on probation. Our preference is actually to revoke license rather than put pro on probation. So that's what we are still working on this, Senator, as, as we mentioned before, that uh, we continue to see how we can satisfy the notification requirement at the same time actually do not destroy that doctor-patient relationship. I, I don't know, if I go to a doctor, just to go to a primary care doctor, and if the person says to me, oh, by the way, I'm on probation, there goes my whatever trust I had completely gone. And there is no more sacred relationship in my mind as a physician for about 40 years than what is between a doctor and a patient. It's one-on-one. -on -one. That, that's about it. So Isn't the fact that you are dishonest with the patient by not disclosing and telling that patient that you are on probation or that there are conditions to your probation related to your practice of medicine, that's not dishonest? All that information is provided before the patient goes, Senator. So that's all I can tell you because that information is available. And we're also looking at what other ways we can provide that, that information can be there in doctor's office. We haven't gone there yet, but we're seriously looking at it. 